a 21st century STEAM Academy, creating ex experiential learning with exponential technologies offering VR slash AR, astronomic programs, and fully immersive real-time simulators tr for training. Yes. Did I get that right? You did. Give All right. Fantastic. So now I've got to put this on, so hold on one second. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Good. Can't believe it's already like the third day of the uh, convention, right? And those who, who came on Thursday, you're still here. It's fantastic. So I'm really excited to present a new paradigm of learning. Basically, what we are trying to do is to offer a 21st century STEAM Academy, a, a way of simulation-based learning paradigm. We want to throw away the old way, the traditional way of um, learning, which is sitting here and presenting slides or going into a tra tra traditional classroom and then reading books and then some instructors talking to you and then talking to you and then guess what happens? Half the class goes to sleep, right? So what we're trying to do is be very immersive in our approach and very interactive and hands-on. So, so this is a 360 uh, camera, so I just took some pictures of all of us, and you can do a 360 panoramic view. I'm going to turn this off for a sec, and then let's see if this works with the uh, moving forward. So, so um, we're an organization called Mars Academy USA, and we also have in parallel Mars Academy virtual reality and uh, augmented reality. And our goal is, as I said, to be able to offer a new way of learning, simulation-based learning, both, both in person and in our digital world. So we're working with several partners, and then actually we have Matteo, who just came up. He's the co-founder of Ro uh, Robots Everywhere. And so we're working with them to build this new way of, uh, of, of teaching people. So before I say anything, I always think video and images are a great way to convey your 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 idea so hopefully that this works this is is there any volume nine eight seven six five four three two one what happened oh no no Mars Academy USA. Your training to become a digital astronaut is about to begin. So, can we go to the next slide? Okay, so what you saw, if we can get out of this, was just an intro to our virtual reality digital astronautic program. Can somebody help me with how I can get back to the PowerPoint? Um, okay, let me see if this works now. Okay, right. So you can come in, in uh, through our digital astronautic program as a digital astronaut, and that was just an introduction to the program. And or you can come in as a, a in person in a fully immersive training program. So. We're very different in the way that we're not just offering it to one cohort or age group like young kids, we do. We want to open it up to everybody, anyone. Doesn't matter what your background is, doesn't, want, doesn't matter what your, your experience is, your skill set. You can come in any age, any background, and, and have this immersive experience via our remote digital platform or coming in in person through our training programs. 
So what are we, what is Mars Academy USA? Basically, we are trying to offer experiential learning with exponential technologies. And we're also wanting to uh, train the next generation, not just astronauts, we want to also train visionaries, innovators, creators, scientists, and uh, entrepreneurs, right? Because that's a huge onboarding industry. Now, it's the entrepreneurs. It's kind of like a play on entrepreneurs. So, this is what we're trying to do. And we're also thinking about, hey, you know, when we started with the acronym STEAM, then somebody said, well, we also have to add A, right, arts. That's a part of our humanity. That's part of our, our you know, um, civilization is the arts, the, that artist side, the right side of the brain. So they put in A. Then we said, okay, for us, we said, let's extend the STEAM and make it, let's get STEAMed. And there you see, to add the E, and the D, E to the A, and you can see where the eight E's are, which is, you know, explore, empower, engage, excite, educate, enlighten, envision exponential. All these are adjectives, but they're also part of this experience, right? And then D is discover. Discover who you are, discover space, in, in, inward exploration, outward physical exploration. It's all about discovery. That's exciting. The curiosity of us as, as the human race, right? It's not just about, oh, going to space and that's what it is. No, it's also about discovering who you are, where you are, you're here on Earth, and how does that relate to the universe? Design, dive, and digitize. Digitize, of course, is the technology that we're coming on board, which is the virtual world and the digital world. So, we need you. We need all of you. Why do we need all of you? Not just people who, want, who are interested in space to be astronauts. We're interested in educators. We're interested in, in the artists, in e engineers. Everybody, we want to be part of this. And we want to be able to engage you all. Have this kind of like a transdisciplinary, that's a new word. Not just multi, but transdisciplinary approach to how we work together, collaborate. Because this is who we are, right? We're not borders. We're not you know, living on Earth, we have borders of many levels, physical borders, psychological borders, emotional borders. We want to break that down and say, let's be inclusive, let's be collaborative, let's be a human race. So, we need you all. Why? Because in, in the future, in space, if we really are going to successfully settle on a off-world planet, it doesn't have to be just Mars, it could be Moon and beyond, right? It's just like, oh, that infinity there. You many possibilities. We're going to need all these skills. We're going to need all these skills to come with us. But think about it. We're already here on Earth. We have these skill sets, right? So we need to train all these people to go up into, um, you know, into space and onto Mars one day. So here is just quickly you know, our four Ds. Discover an exciting, immersive, analog astronaut training sim. We'll allow you to have that experience. You can come in for a day. You can come in for a weekend or a whole week. We can even take you to high-fidelity missions out in the desert, low-fidelity, high-fidelity high up in Antarctica, you know, or, or to the Arctic, or even uh, Everest is what we're planning with a very extreme uh, experienced team next year. So design, yes, that's all part of that artistic part. You know, we have the, our labs that we are designing and our workshops, and then dive, dive into a deeper experience of what it is, what you're doing, whatever the, that, that specialty or that area that you're, you're, you're passionate about. You can have a deeper dive experience about it. And then, of course, the digitized astronaut. So what we're offering is a parallel of both, coming in as a digital astronaut and also coming in in a fully immersive experience as part of a mission crew. So, whoops. Now I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do. When you come in as a digital astronaut, you're going to come in and do, for example, EDL. You're going to experience what it's like to do entry, descent, landing. This is part of one of this program that we're offering. So let me see, hopefully Thank that displays. So I wanted to get a picture. Sure. And this is a question. <laughs> sure. Got it? OK, right. Hopefully this plays. <laughs> Mariner Valley Mission Control, this is MAU-11 at entry interface, full stop landing at the option Bravo. MAU-11, rotate to negative 22 degrees approach angle, report before 50 nautical miles altitude. MAU-11, entry heat constraint trajectory at 50 nautical miles altitude. Correction maneuver, and get back to reference. 
launch trajectory. Be careful not to skip. Welcome to Mars Academy VR Simulation Training. Please look around and proceed to the Energy and Environment Module. So that is an experience, and um, you know, through our virtual digital astronautic program, and you are able to pick many specialties. So what we're doing is developing a whole library it, in that acronym STEAM, right? So like science, there'll be a whole library of uh, science-related um, training modules, submodules that you can actually go in, and we're going to, you know, allow you to train because we're not going to just even do VR, we're going to add the layer of augmented reality. So we're actually working with a company that's built the mocap or motion capture bodysuit, and we're going to bring in, bring in that uh, capability. So now, not only are you able to go into this 360 immersive world, you're able to now use augmented reality, and you can pick up objects, you can do little tasks, you can be really, really in a, a very immersive experience. So here is, you know, what, for example, what I'm saying is we would actually build a whole green hub and you'll come in and you'll do a lot of, lot of you know, food production. You will use technology because remember, we're also trying to educate people about exponential technologies. These are technologies that either are still in the laboratories, but they're very innovative, cutting edge, and they're going to disrupt the, the industry that, you know, that's related to. So, for example, you know, you've heard of the new technology, revolu revolutionary you know, genetic scissors, uh, scissors, the CRISPR-Cas9. So, you know, now the potential to, you know, play with our genes, maybe, you know, in, in terms of medical health, you can now cut out, right, quote unquote, cut out the bad genes and be able to, you know, select for the good genes. So now you're able to do that. Now we're going to show you through the digital learning as well as in person, you know, what is this technology? And you're going to learn about it and you're going to be interactive in the, in the modules. So we actually have where you're, where you're able to come in, where we have what we call a Mars Fest. Basically, these are daily, um, you know, experiences. You can come in uh, in, real, in person and engage in simulations. So here we're working with, um, and we're in talks with, um, the Mars Society Purdue chapter, and um, to bring it to, to Purdue University in Indiana. And we're planning to implement that in March of 2018. So this will give you an idea 
an over idea of what we actually can offer and where you can experience it. That gives you an over idea how we're going to what what we're offering and what uh, experiences that you can ex you know have and choose from a menu. So these that's what we're doing. We're offering steamed workshops and labs. And like I said, because our system is mobile, we are able to come to your company, your organization, your schools, your, your you know your university, or you can come to our curated events. So we'll actually be working. Um, Doing, uh, working with several partnerships in Los Angeles and Long Beach and San Francisco and offering the weekend uh, workshops and labs simulation. So you actually, in person, you'll get to be part of crews. So now this is from MDRS at Utah that I was part of many crews. But now, but you know, those environments are great. However, they're very, very selective and you've got to compete for the slot and you've got to have the relevant experience so, you know, that actually eliminates a lot of people, right? Citizen scientists, young children who are really interested in it, but, you know, they can't participate. So we're now going to offer this experience in our setting, in our system. So you'll actually be part of a crew, and you'll go through these simulations. And so this is an example of a workshop. You know, they usually last an hour to two hours. And so just this one, you actually do a med uh, geological EVA, You'll do a medical EVA. You do even be part of mission control. So you have that experience, you know, to have an all-encompassing experience. And here, entrepreneurship. And oh, yeah, we're also going to give you workshops in exponential technology. So here's 3D printing, which Matteo and I from Robots Everywhere designed. This is actually a portable, solar-powered, laser cutter 3D printer that can go anywhere. So now we're going to even talk to you about 4D printing. Who in here knows about 4D printing? Put your hands up. Anyone? No. Well, that's actually coming online, and 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 it's still in the laboratories. But these are the kind of um, you know classes we're going to offer, really cutting edge, disruptive, disruptive um, you know workshops that actually will push the border of you know the envelope of you know your learning you know and your your knowledge skills, right? Not just the tradi traditional you know, way of learning and not just traditional, like, you know, already out there knowledge. We're going to really engage you in something that's really, you know, new and exciting and innovative. And so here you just saw the digital astronaut. We're going to do workshops too. And here I'll give you an example of what you'll engage with because we also will take you out into the natural environment. So you're not just in an indoor setting. You're going to also have the choice to come on our missions outdoors. So you can go to Utah and, as I said, you know, to a high fidelity environments of Antarctica or Everest, which is what we're planning for 2018. And so we do robotics as well. We do all this. You know, it's all part of that, 3D printing. And you're going to learn, you know, space medicine, space health, you know, everything that's related to, to, to the human body, the psychological, the sociological. What happens to you if you go to space? I mean, a lot of people don't know that. And that you really, you know, if you really want to be an astronaut and you're, you're really interested about space, or maybe there's a discipline that you're interested in and you want to find out and do a deeper dive and have that immersive, interactive experience, we can give you that. 
So here is you know, what we did during our missions. We're also going to do robotics, right? We're going to teach you that. There's going to be workshops, psychological and health, you know, and using technology. So yes, it's all about, and it's not just Mars, it's the moon too, right? So it's applicable to any off-world planet he, and here on Earth. Because remember, anything that you do, everything that we do is, that pertains to say we're going to space or Mars or any, any planet, it has to have direct relevance and benefits to life on Earth. That is the ultimate goal, really, right? To improve what you've discovered or what you've created that has applications to improving the quality of life on Earth. So with that said, I would say to you, and I'm going to end like this, you know, dream the impossible. Because why? Because, but you have to believe in it absolutely. And when you do that, the dream will be possible. You know why? Because I went through that. I went through that, and I was told many times throughout my, and I'm not a spring chicken, by the way. So, you know, I never gave up because I was told, you can't do it, what you're doing, you're, you're going to fail, blah, blah, blah. And I, 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 because I believed in it. I believed it. And that's kind of my message I'm going to give to you. This is all about education as well, right? But it's not just education. It's education and entertainment. And when you merge the two, what do you get? This is the future, the 21st century of learning. It's edutainment. That's the new word. So with that said, thank you so much, everyone. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So I'm. We are definitely. It's all about collaboration because if you don't have collaboration, you know, you're really not going to go that far ahead, or it's going to take you much longer. So we want to expedite the whole process, and we're very open to collaboration. Everything that we do in simulation work, guess what it is? It's teamwork. It's collaboration. But it's. But it's about you know communication too, and it's also about opening up and not being afraid to share your ideas, you know, and and to so that you can you know out of that, if you take away this, the the fear and the anxiety, oh someone's going to take my idea, oh I don't want to work that, you know, then guess what? It allows you to open up your thinking, it, it changes your mindset, and you're allowed to then be very very creative. And that is where I want to bring in that part. And, and we're doing it through this kind of platform, right? We're saying, oh, come in as an astronaut. Come in and, and be focused about space. No, it's not just about space, guys. It's, it's about us working together, you know, communicating much better, you know, and collaborating, so for sure. And, and by the way, we are in talks with Singularity University there at NASA Ames, and actually helping, working together to create what we're doing to bring into SU and NASA Ames. So, and, and we're working with a lot of the, uh, because here we're situated in Los Angeles, that's the epicenter of digital technology, right? Especially in entertainment. So we're working with them, Upload LA, if you don't know who they are, a huge big facility in Marina Del Rey that ha um, really is working not only in VR, AR, but also mixed reality. And you say, what is mixed reality? Mixed reality is, think about it guys, because it's, it's the science fiction converging with science and reality. Mixed reality is the Star Trek Next Generation uh, holodeck, right? And it's still at its early infancy, but that's what we're also interested in doing. Because can you imagine the day when you can't really separate between reality and you know, a digital world that you're immersed into? This is what we want to give you. So yeah, for sure, that's what I'm very much, so let's talk. Yes? Yes, oh, 4D printing. Ah, we have to come to our workshop. <laughs> so 4D printing is actually coming out of um, you know, laboratories like MIT, Harvard. And 4D printing is basically, okay, so you can say 3D printing is like you know, the replicator. I'm just going to say this because you know, 4D printing is the assembler. So basically, this material that you 3D printed, the material that you use has um, some kind of pre-coded algorithm and AI built into it so that when you put it into a specific environment, a trigger environment, it catalyzes an, a reaction that then makes that th 3D printed material form into an end shape that you want. That is fascinating. 
And that has absolutely tremendous applications for space, especially when you're talking about building structures on the planet's surface. Yes, yes. What's your name? Kate? Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. Yes, what's your question? Background? You so like what background do you mean? Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, so so for you, right? What are you interested in right now? Mars. Mars. Oh, perfect. <laughs> but what what what, what uh, so besides Mars, what else are you passionate about? Because it's all about passion. You know, are you interested in art? Are you interested in, you know, uh, robotics? Yeah, like both of them. Oh, you're so perfect. I want you to come. So, so, so background just means, you know, what, 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 what have you specialized in or what is your knowledge that you've been trained in, right? So, you know, but because you're, well, how old are you? Eight. Eight. Because you're eight. Guess what? Oh, you're fantastic. I love people like her. Because why? Because you, you, you're still what we call like the sort of like a blank page that you can write lots of things on. You can draw lots of things on, right, in life, right? Not somebody like, somebody like me, I've trained in so many different fields, right? Which is a good thing as well, you know. But there are some people who might have just chosen one path through their, through their whole life and then they're sort of stuck in that. So, but they're an expert in it, but you know, they're not experts in other fields. So background is really, you know, what, what is your training? What's your knowledge at that point in time in your life journey, see? Hopefully I explain that. So any more questions? Sorry? Did somebody say? Oh, okay. Thank you, everybody. Okay, let me take, can I just take one? Everybody, can you say Mars after three? So we can have this, and if you want it, I'll send it to you. Say one, two, three. Fantastic. And put your hands up in the air. This is energy. Thank you so much.